the channel you want to listen to. Dover Community Radio. Okay. I've met before, actually. Okay. How are you? Matt, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> I, I passed it across. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're in the Olympic Torch Relay more so. Oh, uh, what, the other week when we were down? That's right, yeah. Yeah, when we were over on the road show. That's right. Uh, well, they're also, um, and some, I think, I don't know, you bump into people all the time, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> I think it's a bit special with the splash as well, all the water in there. The re- 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 it was a bit wet, actually, yeah. I thought that wet. made it, like, <laughs> for the rain. <laughs> Well, it was quite. It was good, actually. The I mean, German Dover crowd. Yeah, absolutely. People did come along, regardless of the rain. Didn't matter. They all had a good time. A bit rough on the sea for the way the uh, sailing ship coming in, oh, though. Yeah, that Did the fireworks the actually day. take place? Today? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It went off really well, actually. I was going to say the wind was. But it was right, touch and go for a while. But and also there was fog came down as well, so there was uh, some deliberation about whether you could actually see them. But in the end, it was fine. Yeah. Yeah, it came, went off well. I watched them over the hill, I did. Oh, did you? Oh, right. <laughs> the rest of them by, by a thunderous sound. Right. The last thing is, is, is so, so you're here today, you're, you're um, linked in with the Vista Leisure Complex. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. My, um, my role is I manage our community team, which uh, goes out into schools and the community, trying to create community links for sport and activity, promoting healthy lifestyles. And we're also involved with running programmes uh, which help educational outcomes, things like supporting vulnerable children, um, children who might be in care, children who may have uh, problems with moving from primary to secondary school, those types of things. So, uh, <coughs> do, do, do you. Um, what. what I, I, what are your special links to the... I was just saying how responsible your position is. Well, I manage our community department, so I mean, I, what we do is we, we've got a partnership which we work within the schools called Dover Extended Services. That partnership involves Vista Leisure and I chair the board and there's a board made up of head teachers and members from different agencies such as Kent Sport, such as local social services um, and that board um, gets investment from local schools, other agencies and we reinvest that into the schools by providing services such as sport related, uh, specialist activities and also a coordinating board so we have a development manager so, that works. So there's lots going on isn't there? Oh absolutely. And do, is, there, is there a general meeting with the head, heads, head, heads of the school and that? Is that very, is that, that's viable? Is it fruitful? Is it? Uh, yes, I mean there, there are different, like all, like all organisations, there are different partnerships and different meetings we have. We have a board which manages the operation called DARES, um, but we also have a network meeting where it's attended by representatives from each of the schools. That's a more practical meeting where you get, you get a teacher or it could be a governor or a TA from the school. They come along, they share ideas and we can promote activities in that are available. So it's, it's, it's quite possible that schools aren't aware of some of the services that are there which are free. Which may support them and may support teaching in schools so it's an opportunity to bring people together to share that information and other things as well um, and with everyone feeling the pinch these days with money, um, what, we, what we also have is we have a business management meeting for the schools and the idea was collectively that by working together they can uh, save money through use of economy of scale so for example if they all wanted to buy paper together they could buy bulk paper in bulk and save some money so we facilitate that type of meeting as well so are you in, in charge of those the people in, in accounts and um, in charge that partnership that partnership yes <laughs> we don't we don't um, obviously the schools have to work independently and make their own decisions but we act as a facilitator to help them do that and that will filter down to the child in the school won't it? absolutely if there's more savings in on the school they've got more money to invest in teaching in the classroom more money to invest in services outside of the classroom which uh, gives a better learning environment and hopefully higher attainment because I've noticed in Dover that all the children are very well kept and cared for. You think so? I think they look marvellous, don't they? They look, they're not, I think they're not a, rude or... No, I think, it's a big, I think it's a big effort made by schools to try and promote that. But Dover is a deprived area, let's, let's not um, be shy of that. And I think there's, there's a lot of work that needs to be done in Dover and there's some very good services about. So it, it's challenging, but it is fruitful. Do you, do you think then it's up to the mothers and fathers? Um, I don't think it's for me to make that opinion, to be quite honest. I think we're here to, pr- to support those. You just those. do your best. We do it? our best, absolutely. I mean, you get some very good uh, families that support their children. You also got some families that have issues, they may have social issues which may stop them from doing that. But we're there to try and make things as easy as possible and as equitable as possible. But that's, uh, that's in the line of, the glorious line of faith, isn't it? So I'm just saying, so, so you are, I know you are, you are, you are, you are like, um, at the front then with the, the Olympics. Yes, absolutely. <coughs> I just wonder, what, what exactly is your angle with the Paralympics? 
With the Paralympics, it's no, it's no different. Um, the Paralympics has got special athletes, the same as the Olympics have special athletes, and today we want to try and show that. The other thing as well is I think some people aren't aware really about what it's like to take part in the Paralympics. And uh, for instance, we use the example of wheelchair basketball. We're allowing anybody to come along and have a go in a wheelchair to play basketball, but it demonstrates the speciality that those athletes need to be successful, which requires years and years of work, the same as any athlete. It's difficult to come across to the public, isn't it? it? It is. It's trying to get that message across. And sometimes people do see the Paralympics as a lesser event, which certainly it isn't. So, um, so I, I, I think they should, they're not just persons or physically challenged, they're just super persons. Absolutely. The same as the Olympic athletes. No difference to my mind. So would you, would you like welcome people with disability into the Mr Leisure Centre? Of course. We like to try and be as inclusive as possible. Sometimes we do have to modify um, activities to make it appropriate and there's some things which they can't do. But we do try and be as inclusive as we can do. We have a voice in the swimming pool. Our staff are trained to use that to allow disabled people to access the pool as easily as possible. We have disability swim classes and we have a disability sports club as well. I hear there's a programme called Dash. That's right, that's our disability sports club. It runs between four and six on a Saturday and it's open to anyone with a disability, whether it be physical disability or learning difficulty. And we try and promote that promote so they can all come along, have some fun, they can have a go at sports, but also it's a certain sorry, excuse me. It's also a social opportunity for those people who may be isolated in their homes. So people maybe with learning difficulties or physical disabilities that are independent livers but do have daycare, it's an opportunity for them to come down into a safe environment and take part in activity and sport. So that's, that's what we put it on for. So we're hoping that like, lots more people will turn up today. Lovely Absolutely. Fun day, Beautiful day. We've just yeah. set up. We've dressed all the front. Uh, so thanks to the people who came to Kent support and Dover District Council that supported us. They've helped put all the banners out and the bunting, giving it a, a truly Olympic yeah. Paralympic feel, so hopefully I love the bus, though, it is beautiful, isn't it? And hopefully, I've lots of people come down and take part. Right. Well, thank you very much. Okay, no problem. Okay, thank you. I wonder why you can go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to do the interview. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs>